Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have two new things. I have my first family member that's agreed to be on camera with me. Hi. My cousin Amber, and she's gonna help us make our potato nachos today. And the second thing is this video is actually sponsored by an air fryer that I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, we're gonna get started. This is such an easy recipe. It's not even really a recipe. Uh, there's only one thing that you should definitely make, which is our nacho cheese sauce, but you can switch up the variety of how you do this. So our nacho cheese sauce, I'll have all of the measurements and the video above to watch, but this is the key ingredient. It's creamy and delicious, and anytime you make this, you have to make this with it. That's what the key thing is for this recipe. So I'm going to show you guys how we make our nachos. We have got inspired by this by watching the documentary Game Changers. Uh, it just came out. I'll also have a link to that down below. You can watch it at home now. But in the documentary, uh, the chef makes potato nachos, and my husband was obsessed with the idea. So I made it for him for his 30th birthday, and we've made it several times since. It's so easy that I don't mind making it, and it's just a family favorite. So I'm really excited to share it with my cousin. So all I did was I air fried little potatoes of lots of different colors, around 56 ounces. And again, you can make this for a large amount of people or for two people. You can kind of switch it up. So this is great for a party or just if you're at home. Um, so you just want to air fry potatoes. Super easy. I like to use a big casserole dish. And then instead of lettuce, I like to use shredded cabbage. Um, so if you want to add that on top, you can just kind of sprinkle it on top. And I like to do this so that the hotness of the two things I'm going to show you next kind of melts and cook the cabbage a little bit to soften it. But you can use shredded lettuce if you don't like cabbage. I'm just all about changing it up. That looks pretty good. And so you just, yeah, you just evenly spread it across. And then we're going to pour our hot ingredients next. So you want to make a chili for this, any kind of bean chili. I also have a chili recipe I'll link above. Um, but any works. It's around two cups of hot chili that you've cooked up. So you can pour that on top. And this will help wilt the cabbage and make it soft for you to taste it, but it is so yummy and easy to do. And then we're going to add our nacho cheese sauce. So this is the star ingredient, and you definitely want to make this. And you just pour that over. This video is not going to be very long. It's a super easy recipe. And for this, I picked salsa. You can pick hot or, or mild salsa. You can do a chunky or not, so you can add that. And you can also do so many different things. So sometimes we add guacamole to this. You could do corn, onions, black olives, diced tomatoes, or um, you can even make the Dr. Greger guacamole with edamame, so you can make it a lower fat one if you're looking for that. You can make a whole food plant-based sour cream, but that is pretty much it. It is so quick and easy. Simple for dinner. I'm going to call the whole gang in so they can all try it out on camera. But this is such a great, fast recipe that you're going to love. And then after we do the tasting, I'll talk about the air fryer, which is so nice to sponsor this video. But, yeah, let's go get the guys in, and we'll give it a taste test. So we talked Josh, my cousin's fiancé, into He'll be in the family within a year. So go ahead and give it a, give it a taste can be a little messy. <laughs> it's really good. Mm -hmm. The cheese sauce is definitely like a key part in this. I agree. But you saw how easy it was to make and yeah. simple. And I love that it's still good for you. Now you can make this with corn tortillas or potatoes. Potatoes are much easier to do on your own. Um, but we love it. And so it's in the rotation now. And I love that we put chili in it because it sneaks in those beans and you get all the protein and everything else. So this has just been such a hit around here. But I'm gonna send you home with a whole bunch of it today, so. I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> <laughs> and so this video is very exciting, not only because I got a family member to film with me, but because Bugatti decided to sponsor us and I cooked the potatoes in it today. And I love the Bugatti because it has an air fryer mode for 365 degrees for 18 to 30 minutes for you just to click and it's really easy. It's number two on here. They also are offering us a coupon code on Amazon. So it ends up being around, I think it's around $97 or somewhere around there for the Bugatti. And I love it. It's really sleek looking. I was telling my husband when I was opening it that if there was a sexy air fryer, this guy would be it. 
So if you care about how your appliances look, this one's a very sleek and beautiful. I love that there's all these different touch um, buttons on top. And then the air fryer also is a pretty large basket. Just to show you guys that it fits quite a lot in here. And so while I already have an air fryer, I have the Breville Smart Oven Air. I'll post a photo of it. Um, I'm actually sitting this home with my cousin who filmed the video today. So she'll get to air fry lots of her food and get to enjoy it. So again, thank you so much to Bugatti for sponsoring this video, for letting us try out this air fryer. I know my cousin Amber is going to love it. She's going to be able to make those potato nachos all the time. And yeah, this is just, if you're looking for an air fryer, I really suggest this one. Or the Smart Oven Air if you're looking for more of like an oven, dehydrator, toaster, all in one. We love our Smart Breville Smart Oven Air. That's what we use all the time to air fry, but if I didn't have that, I definitely would get the Bugatti and love it. So just want to share that with you guys. Make sure you're subscribed, like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, tell us what you would put on your potato nachos. Again, it's one of our all-time favorite quick recipes. My husband always asks for it, and it's so easy to like whip up. I usually have um, frozen chili that I just dethaw, heat up pour on top. Um, you can also get, you know, chili that you find in the store or something like that as long as it's um, plant-based and it's a bean chili. That's what I recommend. And we love it. That cheese sauce takes minutes to make. It's so easy. And again, I'll have a link to that up above. Make sure you watch that video. That cheese sauce goes good on everything. We put it on pasta, nachos, Lots of different things, vegetables, whatever you name it, that cheese sauce generally goes on it, and it's been our favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys go make some potato nachos. They're super easy and delicious and quick, and I'd love to hear what you put yours on down below. You could do it so many different ways, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. See you later. Bye.